I'm here with England fullback Ben Foden, head of uh, England Wales this weekend. Um, ben, Delon played particularly well uh, in your <coughs> position at 15. Um, how did you rate his performance? Um, yeah, he did, did very well. You know, he's been absent from from the international scene for a while, and obviously with his, his ban towards the end of last season, he, he just needs some some game time. And you can see that he's a very talented individual. Uh, you know, and he, and he shows he showed at the weekend that he can really you know match it out there in international rugby. And all credit to him. Yeah, he played very very well, and obviously puts the pressure on me. And you know, this week it's it's my turn to, to try and show what I can do as well. And so uh, it's good though the competition's good between me and Dylan. Uh, both pushing each other and hopefully bringing out the best in each other. It's the first time probably since you've been in the sort of the 15 shirt that you've had to watch someone else wearing 15 playing for England. <laughs> How did that feel, sort of watching from the sidelines? Um, yeah, sort of. Like, obviously, it's a bit of mixed emotion. Obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for England to do well, and you know, I want Dylan to do well. You know, he's a good mate of mine, and we get on well while we're here. But obviously, you know that competitive instinct in you wants you to sort of. You know, all I can do is, is look to myself. You know, Dylan can do all he can do on the field, and you know, if he has a stormer, then you know I have to go and match it the next week, and, and that's the only thing I can really do. I know it's on me. You know, he, he had a very good game this weekend, so the pressure's the, the ball's back in my court, and the pressure's on me. So, um, you know, I look forward to the weekend, though. You know, I'm, I'm chomping at the bit to get out there and play. And I feel fresh and, and ready, and so hopefully uh, I'll be able to put in a performance a week, or hopefully go one better. And you say you're feeling good after pre-season, you. Yeah. You're really looking forward to getting down to Cardiff, I presume, and, and hopefully getting in that. Yeah, yeah, you know, I think every player sort of dreads the pre-season, especially when, you know, it's going to be a tough one. And obviously, we've been working very hard here in the England camp. And uh, it sometimes, it's, you know, you, you wake up on the Wednesday knowing that you're only halfway through the week and, and there's nothing to aim for at the weekend. So it, it's good to, to know that we're going to be rewarded with a game at the weekend and it's a full international. I know it's, you know, it's supposedly a friendly, but... Never, an, I never heard of an international being a friendly ever. So, especially down in Cardiff as well, those boys are going to be up for it. They're, they're going to be desperate for a win because they want to get their, you know, World Cup um, preparations going in the right direction, and, and so do we. So it's going to be a full-on match, and, and, and I'm looking forward just to getting out there and playing. It'll be quite interesting being the first game, being a full-on international. So there's not going to be uh, much much room for errors, but um, hopefully I'll hit the ground running and, and, and I'm putting a good performance. And something slightly different now. I understand Ricky fluky has been in charge of the O2 inside line camera this week, and he's trying to be getting you guys to do a bit of singing and bringing yeah. musical instruments in. Have you been involved in that at uh, all? I, I, he knocked on the door and asked me to come in and, and do it, but I wasn't really sure what was going on, so I passed. But I heard that Danny Cares had a go, and a few of the boys have been in there doing a few things. But um, I don't think Danny was very impressed with the with the with the with the, the, the playback. But Ricky's a Ricky's a very good singer, so I wouldn't want to go up against him. I don't think. Now, we know you do a bit of singing yourself. Who are the best singers in the squad? Do you think? Um, well, Ricky's definitely up there. Obviously, Soz, he's, he's known as a bit of a singer as well after the last World Cup year. Um, Sheridan, Andrew Sheridan's a very good singer. He's a, he has, he has a, he has a, a single out, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got a, he's got an album on YouTube. Right? Yeah, there you go. On, on, on iTunes, iTunes, sorry. iTunes, yeah, there, yeah. Uh, so there's quite a, actually, it's quite. Toby plays guitar. Johnny plays guitar. It's quite a musical lot, really. And who would be the worst? Can you think of anyone who's oh, who least worst, like to get up there? Yeah. <coughs> there must be a few in our squad. I can't see, like... I hear Lewis Moody every time he sings a line or two of a song. It's pretty terrible, so I'd like to see him up there singing a song. But there's a few guys I, I can't really see. You know, I can't really see Tim Payne busting out a tune either, really. Is that on the evidence of their, you know, initiation songs on the bus? <laughs> yeah, well, obviously... Yeah, it's, it's, it's usually the guys like Richard Wigglesworth and Mark Cueto who give it all the banter, like, get up there and sing, and then they end up singing like, Old MacDonald Had a Farm, because that's the only song they know, so those guys are pretty useless as well. Good stuff and good luck on the weekend. Cheers, thank you.